Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a problem micro and prime prime taken from uh, Hacker Earth. So let me make it a little big. Yeah. So the problem is uh, there's a person micro uh, micro who has defined a new type of number called prime prime, and a number is called prime prime if a number x is called a prime prime if a uh, number of prime from one to x. The total number of prime from 1 to x are also prime then the number x would be called prime prime so number 3 would be prime prime because total number of prime till 1 to 3 are 2 and since 2 is also a prime that is why number 3 would be prime prime so what we have to do is we are given uh, t test cases and in each test case we are given l and r and we have to tell how many prime prime numbers are in between L and R. So to solve this we would of course uh, since L, R, L and R are up to 10 to the power 6 and there are 10 to the power 5 queries so of course we would use sieve to generate all the prime numbers till 10 to the power 6. And then we would use a uh, cumulative array, cumulative sum array to find the sum of number of prime from 1 to x in constant time so if you do not know what these are just bear with me and let's start okay so here we go So we take an array integer array of size 10 to the power 6 because uh, in the input L and R can be as large as 10 to the power 6 and then we have our void C array so in max n is equals to a million 10 to the power 6 that is and we would make all the numbers from 1 to max n uh, as 1 indicating that they all are prime number but since we know uh, 0 and 1 are not prime number so we would mark them 0 and now we would start our sieve so LLI is long long end as I have defined so LLI is Uh, i is equals to 2 and we run a loop till square root of n that is why we are running a loop till square root of max n and i plus plus if ar of i is d equals to 1 or simply you can leave it as it is so it, it, it would not change anything so if ar of i is double equal to 1 which indicate it is a prime number then what we would do uh, we would go to all the multiples of it And we would start j is equals to i into i we would start from i square and then j is less than equals to max n j plus equals to i we would start from i square and then for all multiple of i we would mark them as composite number and hence we would mark them as zero now after running through this now uh, the array AR in, uh, contains information about prime number. So ith index of array is 1 if the number is prime, if the number i is prime, otherwise it is 0. Now let's use a count variable and then run a loop till max n. Now if AR of i is equals to 1 indicating that this is a prime number then our count would increment if the ith number is prime number then we would increment the count that is uh, count is basically number of prime number from 1 to uh, i so if ith number is prime number then we have to increment it so now count contains number of prime number from 1 to uh, 1 to index i 
so we also have we should also have a an array for prime prime numbers or was it yes for prime prime numbers its size, its size would also be 10 plus 6 so now ith index of pp or ith number would be prime prime if the number of prime from 1 to i which is this is also a prime so if ar of count is equals to 1 so what it means that the number of prime number from 1 to i are prime so if that's the case then pp of i would be 1 indicating yes this is also uh, this is also a prime prime number else pp of i would be 0 since this is not a prime prime number so after this uh, pp of i contains 1 if the ith number is prime prime and pp of i contains 0 if the ith number is not a prime number so from the main function we can directly call save and everything is ready we just have to take these test cases and in l r and t so in each test case sorry we would read l r and for now i'm just just to show you uh, we would initialize count with zero and we would run a loop while r and i plus l plus plus and simply count plus equals pp of l so if l is L would move from L to R of course so if L is PP then it would be 1 and hence count would be incremented if it is not then PP of L would be 0 so count would not be incremented and we can direct print it so let's compile it here okay plus plus 14 we may get some compilation error but that's okay yeah i was npre oh sorry uh 39 6 yeah it's actually rep so now it should work okay the sample test cases are passing but if you submit it you would likely uh, we are likely to get tle the reason is because there may be yeah partially accepted only six marks because the rest are tle the reason is because uh, there are 10 power 5 test cases and in each test cases l and r can be as large as 10 power 6 so the overall complexity would be t into n where n is 10 power 6 so the worst in worst case we have to make 10 to the power 15 calculations so it would re result into tle so what we can do is let me copy this which one is correct one so now we can do is we can take a cumulative sum of pp so what we are going to do uh, we know that pp i is equals to 1 right uh, if ith number is prime prime now what we are going to do at ith position instead of saving whether it's a uh, prime prime number or not we are going to save the total number of prime prime number from 1 to i or basically if you have no idea then you can check uh, this is called uh, cumulative sum so we are going to prepare the cumulating uh, cumulative sum array of pp so now at position one uh, there will be some of first 
only one uh, pp number at position till position uh, at position 5 we have the sum of all pp number from 1 to 5 so at position 5 it is not now it is not whether the fifth number is P, uh, prime prime number or not at position 5 there there is total sum from 1 to 5 how many prime prime numbers are there so now it contains sum so to uh, now the answer can be answer uh, given in constant time like this all you got to do is take how many elements are there till r and subtract how many elements are there till n minus 1 and this is your answer let me take let's just compile it again and submit it mm -hmm. so we got 20 numbers because now for each test case we are calculating the total sum in constant time so what it is uh, what it is actually if you have no idea about the uh, commutative sum fun uh, commutative sum so what it does is actually to if you want to find the total number of element or suppose you have an array and if you want to find the total sum from l to r instead of saving the array in the array is at ith position instead of saving ith element like ith element is 4 or 5 instead we can save the sum till i so if the array was 1 2 3 initially so at position 1 we would have 1 at position 2 we would have 4 because the sum of first two number at position 3 we would have 6 so if you find uh, if you want to find sum from uh, from l to r all you can do take total sum from 1 to r that is ar of r directly which is this and then subtract 1 to l minus 1 and this is how we are calculating if you do if you are having any problem just use your pen and paper and you'd know what this thing is so uh, this was the problem taken from hacker Earth, that was micro and prime prime in which we have implemented sieve along with the uh, cumulative sum array so thank you guys for watching and keep coding thank you